All right, class. So uh, today we're going to be talking about um, gene M code, and this is kind of your first introduction to it. Um, so gene M code is the code that um, a lot of manufacturing machines function on, um, like our CNC machine functions on it, 3D printers use the, that code, um, laser cutters use that code. Anything that's kind of moving through three-dimensional space is using this code. And if you think back to like your math two, math three classes somewhere in there, you'll probably have started introducing the Z axis to your X and Y plane. And everything is based on that. Everything is based on X, Y, and Z. So um, you do have some familiarity with it. And um, we're gonna be talking about how it relates to that in, in, uh, in this video. So there's two types that we're gonna go over in class. Um, I'm going to introduce to you in this video the absolute coordinates. So absolute is, um, is just kind of moving from one point to the next. So you tell the machine which point you want, want it to go to. Um, and then when we get into relative, it is the distance that the machine is moving. So for uh, this first video, we're just going to be introducing absolute. And it is just moving from one point to the next. Okay. So... This is gonna end up being your goal. You're gonna mill this on our CNC machine into a block of wood. Uh, that block of wood will be roughly three inches by two inches wide. And so this person's initials were HBK. Um, and you can see like they've lettered it A to B and then um, let's see where is C and C and D and E. And you can see all of the points where the letters are ending and moving um, all have letters on them. And that's gonna help us a little bit later on. So um, you do have access to this reference guide in Google Classroom. Um, these are all the code names. Um, we're gonna be referencing this throughout the video. Um, the main ones that we're gonna talk about in this video are absolute coordinates. Um, we're going to be talking about rapid traverse. Uh, we're gonna be talking about how to turn the spindle on, spindle off what a tool change looks like. Um, and those are those are most of the ones that we're gonna be going into on this. But this is kind of, this is by no means exhaustive, uh, but it does give you a good start and probably more information than you need for the, um, for the lesson. So I've gone ahead and my initials are AMG. Um, and so I've gone ahead and started my initials off inside this block. We want all your initials to fit within the these squares okay and my first initial is a so i've started my a and i've started off with point a to point b b to c and then i have two more points in here for the machine to go across and d and e so the thickness between these two lines is what's actually going to be milled by our uh, machine we're using an eighth inch end mill and that is about an eighth of an inch wide okay so if I was going to do M, I would say, let's say A, B, C, D, E. And this would, I'm going to go to point 